Ah, all right. Well, now that we have the expensive block of ice with banana prepared, let's put it in there. And yes, Chira, I know that you want a mate. I will be adding in a new cheetah as soon as we finish getting everything prepared for our ringtail lemurs and our Chewbacca lemurs and everyone else. I'm very excited. Very excited. And the zebra doikers as well. All right, let's get some figs on the ground. There we go. Now we need some of the actual food items. So let's put in some elevated dishes if we can have any room for them. Elevated dish with berries. That's a good one. If we can find room for it. All right. I hope that that'll work. <laughs> we have a lot of trees. Oh, good. And common zebra three is going to give birth. I wonder who the stallion of the herd is. I forgot to double check, but we'll we'll figure out the stallion and see if we can dig through some of the names in just a minute in turn. All right. So put that there. More food. We'll put some food on the ground too, just so they have options. Because sometimes the animals like having options. Oh, and Godzilla is gonna go lay another egg for the Gila monsters. Very exciting. They seem to be doing quite well. All right, let's make sure we have everything we need food-wise for our shibakas. There we go. Couple, couple piles of fruit down there. We do have the elevated dish with berries. We've got tons of water everywhere, so they should be okay. What about you, little ones? These zebra dikers are going to want, going to want some fruit and bananas. So I'll make a nice little fruit, banana, and lettuce pile over here for them. There we go. There we go. Oh, and you know what we forgot to put in intern for ourselves and our wonderful, not fence hopping. <laughs> not fence hopping zookeepers we need to put in some gates so let's let's just tuck a few gates in here and there all right another one right here just cuz there we go and look at it look at it oh what a beautiful kind of unexpected little thing to add in a little rainforest a dash of rainforest just to show how you can have desert pushing up against rainforest it's really None of these biomes are, it's not like you walk along the map and find the biome and there's a strict line drawn in the sand. It's often blended in together. So this is going to be an example of a dry rainforest that we have kind of made way too many plants in, but that's okay. And the animals that live there. Because keep in mind, these are also supposed to represent African animals. And African animals span across rainforest, really beautiful rainforest as well. All right, so which ones to add first? Hmm. Hmm. Let's go with the big guys first. And these ones are actually from Madagascar. I don't remember why we were adding them in, but that's okay. They're gonna go in here, cause why not? You need a little variety in every zone, if you ask me. So let's add in, let's see. Yep, we've been allotted two females and two males. Oh my gosh, they're so expensive to transport here. But I think they're gonna be awesome. Oh, look at them, look at them. Already roaming around in the plants. Wait, hello, little ones. Oh, they're looking around. They're beautiful. They are very endangered. Really awesome. Very unique creatures. I would love to see what they get up to. What are you guys gonna do? What are you gonna do first in your new little exhibit? Here's two here. Oh, everyone seems to be headed the same direction. Where are we going? We're walking through the tall grass. Walking through the tall grass. Oh, getting a water, get some water. Walking around the salt lick. What's going on here, eh? Grooming themselves. Okay. Where are we going? Getting some water? Yep, getting a little bit to drink. Oh, that's so cool. So they seem to be enjoying themselves quite well. And hiding in the tall grass. Hiding in the tall grass. What you doing in there? Oh, look, swimming. Swimming lemurs. Hi. Yep, marking territory. That's fine. That's totally fine. I didn't mean to take a picture of that, but at least now we can tell our bosses they seem to be settling in well. Yeah, what do you think? What do you think? All right, what do we have going on with these ones? It's just so interesting to be able to watch them the first time they enter their habitat and see how they react, what they get into, what they start messing with. 
They're very active. I I mean, I'm used to some of our orangutans in the tropical zone who just kind of stand in one spot. But these guys, look at their little tails. Look at their little tails sticking out of the grass. Yep, they're just marking territory. Oh, interesting, interesting. All right, well, let's try adding in the ringtail lemurs and see how that goes. We'll add them in on this side. Come here, little ringtail lemurs. All right, I think we'll do... For now, one male and two females. Because we're getting low on funds in turn. We saved up a lot of money from dinosaur breeding, but now we're getting low on funds. Hi, guys! Hi! Oh, I love lemurs! You know, it's really weird. I don't like monkeys or chimpanzees, but I do love lemurs. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at you! Look at you, you're so cute! And they're off! Oh my gosh, look, someone stole the banana straight out and we didn't even notice. Man, they're fast little guys. They already managed to get the banana, the expensive banana that we had in our ice block. They have already managed to wiggle it straight out and rush off with it. I wonder which one of them it was. Replenish the fruits. How you guys doing? Seem to be doing pretty good. They are roaming. They are looking around. They are checking out their territory. They seem to be doing quite well. Wait. I love watching them. They're really beautiful. What on earth are they up to? Hey, what are you guys up to, huh? Beautiful lemur. What you doing? They all seem to, like, have a purpose. They seem to know what they're doing. Oh, look, and the kids are starting to show up. Okay, where's our donation boxes? That's the other thing we need to work more on in turn, is that we are really low on donation boxes, apparently. So let's liberally sprinkle these suckers around. Because if we want more money, this is how you get it. This is how you make sure that the zoo is taken care of, maintained, paid for. The paid for part is very important in turn. All right, let's add this here. There we go. And we'll add another one over here. Whoops. You want to line it up in turn. We don't want to stick it too much right in front of people's like way. All right, there's that. People are finding these educational and entertaining. Oh, you know what they need? They need places to sit. We need to make this comfortable for our guest in turn. So let's add a couple places to sit down and relax. Kind of admire the lemurs. Just chill out if you want to. There you go, everybody. There you go. Do we have any really cool, hmm, any cool decorations? How's the gift cart doing? Risk business, not bad, not bad. That woman is very happy. She's gonna dance to the safari rock. Wonderful. All right. Good, good, good. Well, let's see if we can add the zebra doikers. <gasps> Did we get more stars or we lost the star? Dang it. We keep getting so close and yet so far away in turn. So close and yet so far away. But the, the little zebra doikers are very adorable. So we're gonna add in two females and two males. There we go. And then hopefully that'll make our guests even more excited to come over here. But you know what would make me very excited? Is if we had somewhere to put a restroom. Because we're kind of low on those here in turn, I'm noticing. And that, that's concerning. We really can't have that. We need to have plenty of restrooms for everyone. Uh, or else the guests are really going to be very unhappy. Also, why are the Roadrunners still thirsty? Hmm. Hmm. I don't like it, intern. I'm quite concerned. Alright, let's see. Hot desert. Let's get a little bit of water over here somewhere. I know there's not a lot of water, but they're really complaining about not having anything to drink, so... Let's go ahead and put that over there, and hopefully that'll clear that up. Alright, and then back to our guest needs. We're gonna put in a restaurant, because we actually don't have one yet, intern. And hopefully... Let's see. Guest dun dun dun. There we go. Hopefully we can get a restaurant. Build statues, fountains, and kiosks to entertain the guests. I know we're working on it. We're working on it. They're hungry. I'm hungry. They need bathrooms. I understand. Restaurants. There we go. Bah, it's just the boring normal one for now in turn. But it's better than nothing. And hopefully that will help our guests out. And we're going to remove this area right over here. And we're going to turn this into a little garden spot. Whoop! Yay! Ten African species in our zoo. Now we can get the African Jeep vehicles. How fun! 
Well, we'll have to add those in just a second. Whoops, in turn, we're getting a little liberal there. Watch your step with that, uh, that, uh, or shovel that we're digging this out with, because, you know, we still need a little bit of that. All right, and then let's get some restrooms in here. Now let's go for some fun endangered species themed restrooms right here. There. Yay! See, I told you, we just got stars because we added more restrooms. The guests need somewhere to go to the bathroom. That's just the, the basic law of how it works here. Alright, then let's get these trees planted, make a nice little garden spot. Right here, and we're gonna grab this guy. And there we go, it's a nice ground cover touch. Right there. Aw oh, man, come back half a star! I'll add more restrooms, I swear! And right there. And I bet we need more places for people to sit over here too. Well, hello everyone! Alright, then I'm gonna have to go and breed some dinosaurs soon and sell them for my dinosaur breeding company because it is actually important to get uh, more money. We need more money for getting another cheetah. And in fact, we might retire our old girl and bring in fresh blood with a new male cheetah and keep one of her cu her cubs to start a new new genetic line of cheetahs. But there we go. All right, good. Good. Things are coming along, coming along. I feel like we need some decorative items, though. Like, our zoo's a little bland. And the savannah is not bland. That's kind of what I'm trying to... We could throw a geyser in here. No, 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 no. That's kind of what I'm trying to show our guests is that the zoo is not bland. There's really a lot that can be done. Uh, it, like a lot to see in safari and savanna zones. Oh, Sunny just died of old age. Always so sad to see those those ones pass on. Oh, but Zelda the lead mare is about to give birth. It is the cycle of life in turn. It is the cycle of life. All right, let's see, not an octopus. That's not the kind of decoration I'm thinking of for these sorts of places in turn. Let's see. Computer, yeah, desert lamppost. Like this is this is more kind of along the lines of what I'm thinking about. You know, start with some decorative pieces around here. And holy moly, that restaurant is exceptionally popular. People are very much enjoying it. Hmm. Like some more safari viewing canopies might be nice, kind of scattered around. Give our guests, give our guests a little, little bit of shade to rest under while they're looking at our animals in the hot, hot desert. And you know what guests really seem to enjoy when they're looking at things in a desert area? Oddly enough. Ooh, look at these. We could add some statues. Ooh, nice statues too. Oddly enough, the guests, when they visit the desert areas, seem to very much enjoy having the... Oh, yay! Zoo's become more famous again. They seem to enjoy having the fountains to look at in turn. Isn't that interesting? But I think it makes a lot of sense because the fountains let them let them enjoy the cool refreshingness so they don't have to feel like they are in the hot desert. They want to see things in the hot desert, but that doesn't mean they want to be in the hot desert. Ooh, but we can add some desert arches. That'll help with the whole theme of everything. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, let's see. Yeah, see, this is a little better. We just need to toss in some more decorative pieces. Let's see, like a little little fountain. Hmm. No, not the Caspian Seal fountain. Is there a smaller fountain? There's drinking fountains. That would actually be a pretty smart thing for us to consider investing in. More sand cat drinking fountains. In fact, I kind of want to put one right here. Just because. A small fountain, Nautilus fountain, the camel petting area. In fact, let's put another camel petting area right here. Why not, intern? That seems like something perfect to do right there. Because I want more people to pet the camels. There we go. That makes me happy. And actually, the safari music rocks. Let's take another one right over here because people really seem to enjoy dancing to those. So there we go. Oops. And then let's put this... Let's put this over there. There we go. Move that tree. That should help. Ooh, and Zora has just grown from young to adult. There you go, Zora. Man, you grow so fast. Look at you, just shooting up. I suppose giraffes do that, though. All right, there. See, things are starting to perk up. I do want to add in another fountain, though. Another desert fountain, maybe over here. Mm, like this? So people can walk past it? Yeah. There we are. It's looking good, intern. Looking good. 
Now, one of the things that we're going to start working on soon, and I know this is going to make you quite excited. I know that we've been waiting for this for quite a while. But we're going to be bringing in our lions, more of our big cats pretty soon, and our elephants. Because those are iconic African animals. You can find them in other continents as well, but you know, when you think safari, some of the first things that pop to mind other than zebras and giraffes really are lions and elephants. So we will be adding those guys too, but for now let's check on how our lemurs are doing. Oh, our genie just died of old age too. Wait. Okay. Everyone seems- uh oh. Well, I was gonna say everyone seems to be okay here, but this woman seems to be missing her head. Hmm. That's slightly concerning. Just slightly concerning. Alright, let's see. Maybe we should put an educator over here? I just feel like there's so much more we could be offering our guests in this particular area. Let's see, what about arches? Maybe we'll put in some arches? What do you think, intern? Nice marble arches, extinct animal arches, go to arches, desert arches. Let's see. Why are the zebra doikers really thirsty? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's put those arches like that. And then take this middle one out. And put in a couple couple spots for people to sit and rest. Because they will have just come out of our restaurant, which is doing booming business. Booming business. In fact, we should name this place. Let me see my little list of names for the restaurants. Hmm. You have come up with some amazing names for the restaurants, by the way, intern. I love seeing it. This one is going to be Roaming Rhino Delights. Roaming Rhino. In fact, that's another animal that we haven't added yet that we definitely need to. Roaming Rhino Delights. There we go. It's a rhinoceros! So we will be adding rhinos to this area as well. I just have to breed up quite a few dinosaurs first. Yes, there we go. I think people are slowly starting to be a little more entertained, a little happier with what they're finding and what they're seeing. Maybe we'll put another gift cart or something of, of that nature over here. Let's see. Carts, carts, carts. Gift carts, gift carts. Normal gift cart. Let's see. Stinked gift cart, Arabian gift cart. I think just a normal gift cart should be good. We'll put it right... In fact, let's put it next to the restaurant because everyone will be full and happy. Oh my gosh. What happened to that man? Why is there a loose... Why is there a loose ringtail lemur? What's going on? Wait, what's happening? Why was our ringtail lemur loose? What? What? That man! Where'd he go? He just vanished! That was very, very, very concerning, actually. So let's check on our... Where, where is everyone? Okay, beaters, camels, sand cat. Actually, we better adopt out a few of these sand cats because... Uh, mm, sand cat 2... And Sandcat 8. And then we'll keep Sandcat 10 and we will get Sandcat 10 a new mate. So we'll do that in just a little bit. The Zebra Doikers. Are you stuck, little one? Are you having a hard time of it? Are you, are you having a hard time figuring stuff out? Well, hang on. I'm coming down. There you go, little one. There you go. That should help. Alright, now let's make sure we have all of our lemurs accounted for. Let's see. Ringtone lemur number one. Why are you out here? What's going on? How are our lemurs escaping? Bring to lemur number two. Inside. Number three. Inside. Hmm. Alright, the ringtail lemurs are here. Good. Hmm, these guys aren't very happy. I'll have to check on them in a little bit. Spur tortoises. What the heck, you guys? Let's take away their heat lamp. Maybe that's causing problems. Hmm. Ah, there they are. Alright, let's make sure these guys are in here. One. Two. Three. Four. Huh. Huh. Well, I don't know what the grand lemur escaping was all about, but hopefully it's contained. I mean, intern, we built this just now. We built it after the earthquake, so it's not like we lost fencing during the earthquake. I love these bathrooms, by the way. Look at the adorable little ivy there. Oh, it's just so cute. Just so cute. And look at these lamps. Aren't these lamps so cool? They're little flowers. Isn't that the neatest thing? Hello, ma'am. How you doing? Don't mind me. I'm just checking for escape lemur holes. Alright. Ah! Ah! I got stuck. 
All right, no, I think, ooh, ooh. I mean, look at that. We even got fancy little fountains on the side of our restrooms here. We are fancy. Yeah, I don't know what that was about with our ringtail lemurs escaping, but I'm pretty sure it should be okay. All right, there's a lot of poop going on though, so you know what that means in turn. Time to hire another zookeeper. Or really, time to let you spend some time remembering your poop scooping 101 by helping introduce our new zookeeper. You know, you're gonna you're gonna help her out. Uh, go back to the poop scooping 101 basics. Uh, go down there, kind of tidy everything up, and let me know how it goes. Meanwhile, I'm gonna check out what the heck is going on with our African spurred tortoises because they just do not seem to be the happiest things in the world. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so you go help our new zookeeper with her poop scooping 101 classes and uh, check in on how that zebra diker is doing. It's a thirsty little thing. Thirsty little thing who seems to need... Here, we'll put in some more some more enrichment items. Maybe that'll help. She seems to need a little bit of help, so we might put in a water trough too, just, just to help out. There we go. All right, so, all right, intern, go scoop that poop, and I will see you after you're done. Bye-bye.